This is what the lip looks like right now. It's really torn up on the bottom and it's really discolored. So we're gonna spice it up a little bit. Let's go. So that's actually gonna be a wrap for today. I'm sorry I've been so sporadic with the videos and everything here. Um, but between hanging out with friends and the weather and a busy lifestyle, that's just how it goes. So the bumper or the front valence, I guess you would call it, is all sanded down. I started with 120 grit and then finished it off with 180 grit. And these are the results. Yeah, so it's pretty smooth. I'm not really too picky about what this is gonna look like because literally nobody's gonna see it. It's just gonna be for my own uh, but <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot better than what I have on the car right now. The color matching is just gonna be the main benefit of this swap. I'll film uh, some more when I paint it probably tomorrow. We'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, I'm back again today. It is freaking gorgeous outside. Come on. I actually just got a call from one of my friends who wants some help with some turbo work. So I'm gonna put a coat of paint on this and let it start drying and then uh, head over to his house and see what's going on with his car. He's got a sick Mark VI Golf and I'm gonna go see if I can help him fix it. Here's a better look at the bumper in some better light today. It's still got some scratches and stuff on it. But like I said, I just don't really care a whole lot. And it'll still come out way better than it was before. This is honestly so much smoother than it was. So I'm using Rust-Oleum paint and primer in one for this. I painted something else for the car that came out really nice. The blacks kind of matched up pretty well. It's not gonna be perfect color match, but it'll be somewhat close. All right, it's got a heavy first coat on. So now we're gonna go for a drive and go help my boy Thomas out. This is Thomas's golf. Hi, Thomas. Hi. We're working on his intercooler piping and uh, just trying to Frankenstein some stuff. So we got some silicone fittings and some exhaust piping. It's a good time. So this piece turned out so well. I actually want to go to Lowe's to get some more paint to paint these inserts because that'll make it look a lot better. We won't have that discoloration down there. So let's go to Lowe's. I got this instead. I've had really good results with it before. I'm just not sure how it's gonna look on the plastic, but we'll find out. I don't, I I think it should work well. We'll have to see. Fingers crossed. The plastic's off. Now let's paint them. All right, so while these are drying, I'm gonna take off this front splitter. I keep calling it a splitter. It's not a splitter, but I'm just gonna call it a splitter because I don't care. Then you guys will really be able to see what kind of condition it's in. It looks rough. So I'm gonna take the bumper off and we'll get that off there and go from there. You guys can see just how bad it was. It is just ripped in some places and right here it's not even attached. That's pretty sick. So I'm gonna fix all that and I'm pretty excited about it. Even though I don't plan on keeping this bumper forever, I like for things to look good while I have them. I think this paint is about dry. They're all primed and ready. Now it's time for some black paint. Just light first coat. So now let's get this off of here. There we go. Oh, yes. Time for a second coat. They're coming out looking so nice. Way better than the splitter. Which is good because the splitter is really not part of the whole bumper. It kind of just looks like an addition. But these are like right in there. So they need to be pretty perfect. This is two coats. I think I'm going to do one more coat just to be safe. And she'll be all done. All right. So this splitter isn't perfect. It's broken on the support right here and on the support right here. And it's also got a lift up right here. 
on the plastic. So I'm gonna get a drill and some drill bits, drill some holes in there and zip tie it together. <laughs> I hate when people put their cars together with zip ties, but I really don't think it's gonna be noticeable. Like I said, I'm not gonna be keeping this bumper forever, so fight me. But first I need to get some zip ties. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, so these holes are drilled. And I know these are way overkill for what I'm doing. Typically you would have a much smaller zip tie than this, but these are all I got. So we're working with what I have. All right, zip ties are on the top. Now we just gotta do the bottom. You can hardly see them. So I'm not even sure if this is gonna work for sure, but I got some holes drilled there and I'm hoping a zip tie will just kind of cinch it down and you won't even notice it. Heck yeah, that's pretty. Can't even really tell. I love the look of the car without the front bumper. I don't know if you guys like your cars with parts missing, but I absolutely love it. I just feel like when I'm driving around and parts are off the car, major stuff's getting done, and I love that feeling. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> I'm just enjoying life, man. So I have some stickers laying around, and since I kind of mob like this pretty often, I'm just gonna put some slaps on this bash bar up here, paint up some of this rusty stuff, and I think it'll look sick. Who needs cardboard and masking tape? Come on. Probably not a great idea to do that, but I don't think I had any overspray, so we're good. <laughs> there we go. Now we got some street cred on her. <laughs> That's so awesome. I don't even care because nobody's gonna see it except for when I'm driving without my bumper on. I think it's freaking sweet. The street cred was nice for a few days. I'm super excited to put these vents in. I had no idea it was gonna look this good. Jeez. It's like a new bumper. All right, so keep in mind the bumper is extremely dirty right now, but look at the difference, guys. The blacks really do match up so well. It's a heck of a lot better than it was. Let's get the car up on some ramps. bumper looks hot but the bottom here has nothing to attach to and it's actually restricting my access to the oil filter and just like random hoses and stuff up here that i like to be able to get at it's also not protecting my serpentine belt that was why i originally wanted to put this on but i'm just gonna take it off and get it out of my way i'm still gonna keep this second extension on here just not this guy all right guys so i got this piece out and uh, i think i'm gonna wrap up the video today we got this bumper on looks super sick. It's not bent up on the bottom anymore. This vent is straight. These vents match the bumper now. It's just a good time all around. So if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you think it was worth my time and effort to do this project. I think it's a big improvement on the car. I also just really wanna thank you guys for sticking with me through this YouTube thing. I've really been enjoying it. I've really been liking making content for you guys. Reading through the comments and just all the support I've been getting from my friends about it. It's been really, really cool. And I'm just looking forward to going even further with it. And so if you made it to the end, uh, you mean the world to me. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like the content. You guys are my homies. Peace.